Hello, in this episode I want to explore um, a slightly bewildering subject and that is the pacifism of Jesus, the Jesus of the Gospels anyway. And the thing is Jesus didn't oppose Rome according to the Gospels and so Rome chose him for its God. And few are untroubled by the fact that the Gospel authors present Jesus as an apolitical pacifist. Nowhere do they point out that his country was under a brutal military occupation which ruled by torture, mass execution, expropriation and the abolition of divine law. Instead, Galilee is generally presented as a peaceful, benign, sunlit land populated by mild centurions and subject only to the occasional tax-collecting annoyances. Jesus curses Jewish scribes, if you look at Matthew 23, but is presented as indifferent to Roman excess. While some Jews felt obliged to condemn the occupation, the Gospel authors, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, claim that he simply said, Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. The pacifism is unmistakable and striking. He is presented as saying, all those that live by the sword shall die by the sword, and even resist not him that is evil. For the first two centuries, Christians duly renounced the use of force and refused to serve in armies. This early teaching was then progressively abandoned in favour of theories of just war, and in this evolved Christianity developed a fiqh, an ethic strongly reminiscent of the Islamic equivalents. How could this be explained? Were the pacifists hearing him incorrectly? Unearthing the actual beliefs of the historical Jesus is famously hard. Albert Schweitzer, the great German biblical scholar, thought that those who try simply end up remaking him in their own image and early Christian biographers certainly had an interest in deleting the memory of any opposition to Rome. But Muslims hold that as a sign of moral perfection, Jesus cannot have been silent about the evils of occupation, of Roman occupation, nor could he have taught the pacifism that most churches eventually recognised as unethical. Demonstrating this as historical fact, however, is probably beyond our power. And today most mainline churches, the Church of England, the Catholic Church, the Methodist Church, most evangelicals who happily support war, come uh, particularly in America, have obviously abandoned the pacifism of Jesus completely and don't seem to realise the anomaly in their faith. Um, what I have just read there is from a book called Commentary on the 11th Contentions by Abdul Hakim Murad, uh, a beautiful collection of essays which I strongly recommend uh, for you to enjoy. Until next time, goodbye.